What's up, Broski? I want to talk about this YouTuber by the name of EDP45. Now, I've never heard of this guy until he was brought to my attention a couple days ago. All right. He's basically a he's a heavy set black guy who um he does food reviews and he also does a lot of shit and fart jokes. He also farts a lot on camera. Um this guy has 2 million subscribers. Uh me personally, I'm not a fan of his kind of humor, broski. I'm not a fan of all this fart and shit humor. I mean, he has a huge following, so obviously millions of people find it funny. Like I said, 2 million subscribers. So I'm pretty sure he's also getting that nice, fat YouTube cheddar, baby. Anyways, he was brought to my attention because he was recently busted for being a pedophile. All right? Hook, line, and sinker. This guy, huh, man, he's a, by the way, he's a fucking incel. A complete fucking idiot, okay? I'm not a fan of of of, uh, of uh, EDP45 or the group that busted him. He was busted by a YouTube channel called Predator Poachers. All right? They're basically the YouTube bootleg version of uh, Chris Hansen to catch a predator. You know how it works. These guys lure and bait men into thinking they're going to meet a 13-year-old boy or girl. And, and then they get shamed on camera. And the chat logs are shown to them, printed on paper. All right? So that's what these guys do, predator poachers. Alex Rosen and uh, a bunch of his dickless goons. I'm not a fan of these guys, broski, because the way they do their busts, it's obnoxious. All right? It's annoying. Their humor is cringe. All right? These guys will lure their victim to, let's say, an empty house or, or at, a, at a Walmart or a Target or a supermarket. And then, like I said, they're showing him the chat logs, and, and, then, and then they start, like, getting loud. Hey, he's trying to meet an 11-year-old. He's trying to meet a 12-year-old. And, then they, and they also start trying to incite violence. You know, these guys just, they get loud and just stupid, okay? Just fucking stupid. They cause way too much drama. They, they continue to blow it up, right? Like, bro, if I was shopping at Walmart and I see some big, goofy tall white boy screaming hey he's trying to grab a 11 year old and wearing a fake wig and shit like this i would pay it no mind because it's a fucking joke broski these predator poachers are a bunch of jokes all right <clears throat> this guy alex rosen and the rest of his dickless goons you think broski you think they give a shit about the kids nah man they're doing this because uh the addiction they have for the likes and shares the ad revenue, all right, the monetization of their of their videos, uh, the T-shirts that they sell and shit like this, they're treating this as a business, all right. These guys are full of shit. That Alex Rosen, that motherfucker has a couple skeletons in his closet. And that motherfucker, let me tell you about him and his fucking goons. They don't understand that they reap what they sow. All oh, this um. Creep catching that they're doing. That they are busting pedophiles. <clears throat> These guys are bringing a lot of bad energy onto themselves. Okay? Bad karma. Okay? All this bad karma that they're bringing. Making enemies. One day. I'm telling you right now. I'm calling it. One day. These guys are going to meet the wrong motherfucker. Somebody who has nothing left to lose. And that's, and that's one of the most dangerous men, broski. The most dangerous man is somebody that has nothing left to lose. One day they're going to come across that motherfucker and he's either going to fucking shoot up their fucking ball sacks, shoot up their fucking balls and dicks off, or he's going to chop them up into pieces and throw them over a fucking river. All right. These guys, they, you know, that they're goofy and they're laughing and they think they're untouchable and shit like this. All right. But these guys, you watch one day, somebody's going to make them shit their pants. And then uh, that's it. And that'll be a glorious day because he's fucking annoyed, broski. Alex Rosen, he, he's a fucking, he's a nuisance. He's a pest. All right. And he knows this. All right. And um, yeah, just it, just that whole world of, of, of trying to be a fake YouTube hero. Like this guy's fake YouTube police is what he is. You know, he's full of shit. Fuck him. But anyways, he busted EDP 45. All right. This fucking moron, EDP45, 
this guy really thought that he was going to meet a 13-year-old girl, uh, I, I think at a fucking, in a parking lot of an, of an apartment building or something, all right? But when he got there, he was confronted by predator poachers, and that's it. They fucking, uh, they fucking verbally assaulted this guy. And what was disappointing about EDP45 is that he's sitting there, all, right, all the shit that he talks online, I, uh, uh, this big ranter, <laughs> all the shit he was talking, he's over there trying to be friends with them. Like, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, I, 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 yeah, I was trying to meet a 13-year-old. Come on, let's go talk over here, man. Come on. Oh, no fist pump? You're not going to give me no fist pump, man? What's up? What's up? Oh, no? You good? No? Okay, that's cool. If you guys want to see the short version of the bust, check out the link on the bottom, all right? Um, or you can look it up, EDP45 Exposed. But just the way EDP, which by the way, it stands for Eat That Pussy. But just the way he was trying to behave, like he was trying to impress these losers. One loser trying to impress another loser, another group of losers was disappointing, all right? And I don't even know the guy like that, but it was just t disappointing, all right? I'm not sitting here trying to defend, trying to defend the pedophiles, broski, all right? But what a fucking idiot. And seriously, think about it. Come on, guys. 2021. Do people really still fucking believe that you're going to meet a 14, a 13 or a 14 year old boy or girl online at Walmart at 11 p.m.? Get the fuck out of here, broski. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Yeah, I'm gonna meet an uh, I'm gonna meet a fucking ten year old girl at Walmart. Ooh, it's not gonna it's not gonna cross my head that 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 you know she has a mom or a dad or or a big e evil brother. Oh yeah, of course I'm gonna believe that a ten year old boy or girl is gonna be waiting for me alone at Walmart. Oh yeah, let me go over there and jerk off. Oh yeah, this is these these fucking creeps, these pedophiles are fucking stupid, broski. And that's one that's one thing predator poachers what what their channel has shown me because I've seen a couple of their busts is that there are a lot of stupid fucking people on this planet, Broski. Stupid fucking people. And some of these people are people that you thought uh, uh, were smart. Fucking what, what? Fucking people that work in the in, in the medical field. Okay, work with computers, but they're not so fucking bright. All right. People are just fucking stupid, broski. You know what's you know what's another mistake that these uh pedophiles make when they get busted? They just keep yapping and yapping and yapping and yapping and yapping and yapping and yapping. That's all they do is talk, trying to be apologetic, trying to gain sympathy from these uh, uh these losers that just busted them. See the school systems, broski. What they don't teach you is that you have the right to remain silent. That's what's sad is that the school system. Is not teaching people about the Bill of Rights and 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 and, and the, the, the constitutional rights, the, the right to remain silent. The, if these predators, broski, if they were smart, they, the, these people that got busted, all they got to do is just walk away, walk away, walk away. That's it. I thought this guy EDP uh, knew better, you know. Him being uh, him being a little kind of hood and all, but I guess I was wrong, right? That's another thing. He also does football rants and shit like this. And um, EDP45, his chat logs were also cringe. One thing I wanted to mention, another thing I wanted to mention is that the way he was talking to this 13-year-old 13 13 -year girl was cringe. Calling her princess and baby and honey boo and sending her, sending her selfies of his ugly mug and shit like this. Like, what the fuck? Bro, did this motherfucker really truly think that he that, that a 13 year old girl was going to be into him. This guy's talking about relationships, secret relationships and doing all sorts of nasty things. He's also, he's also talking about the, the, the size of his monster shits. What the, what the fuck is this broski? Do you see why I take Mr. Advice seriously broski? Because there are people out there that enjoy their monster shits. You understand? But it is what it is, man. Let me know what you think. All right, like I said, Predator Poachers, EDP45, I'm on nobody's side here. Both these channels are a bunch of fucking lunatic goons to me. All right, let me know what you think later.